That's a Chan side. I'm Karin. I've been working at the Etra Center for Juveniles for two years. There are a lot of difficulties. But my co-workers are kind, and I can support the kids to live healthy lives. Working here is pretty fun. But recently, something sad happened. Morning, Karin-chan. Hmm? What's wrong? You look a bit down. Oh, Akane-san. Good morning. This is Akane-san. She's my cheerful, independent senpai. It's just... it's been a month since Tachibana-san passed away. Tachibana-san was a bamboo craftsman in town. As a craftsman, he was hard to please, but he was big-hearted and easy to get along with. He also loved children and often made bamboo copters and bamboo stilts. And during summer, he brought things like water guns. Ah, that much time has already passed, huh? It still feels a little bit lonely around here. When I was a kid, I used to fly bamboo copters with old man Bana. I was bad at it, though. I cried a lot. You were neighbors with Tachibana-san in your hometown? Yeah, you could say we were like family. His son and wife were good people, too. It's too bad his son didn't inherit his bamboo business, though. Hmm, yeah. His business that had been around since we were kids will be gone. And his grandkids are working at a regular company. It'd be nice if he had a successor. Oh, almost time to start work. We gotta get going. By the way, what did you do about yesterday? Oh, the mysterious bamboo crafts? Yeah, that. The bamboo paper ball cannons. We got a box from an unknown sender yesterday afternoon. Full of fear, we took a look inside the box. Inside were paper ball cannons made of bamboo. But the strange thing was... It really is a mystery. We asked old man Bonin to make this a month and a half ago. Yeah. We actually asked Hashibana-san to make the bamboo cannons for us. We had some before, but because of the rough housing from a few of our rowdy kids, they broke about two months ago. Uh! Hey! However, Tachibana-san passed away before he could finish, right? So how did we get that package? Hmm. Ah, could it be? He realized he didn't finish the toys. So night after night, he made them as a ghost. At this rate, I won't finish. There's no way that's it. What? But old man Bono is the type to finish a job no matter what. It might be, you never know. One of these days, we might see his ghost. Cut it out. Yeah, he was that type of person, but that's just unrealistic. Someone else might have come in and finished the job. But this kind of job takes a lot of care. I played with one a bit yesterday. The paper ball flies crazy far, and it shoots straight. Ooh, it wouldn't turn out this good if the person didn't have skills like old man Bana. Hmm, but, but... Hello? Hello, Akamatsu-kun. What do you need? I came to return a book I borrowed, and I wanted to play with spinning tops with my friends. Hmm? Is that a bamboo cannon? Huh? Uh, um, it's... Whoa! We've always wanted one! Hey, please! We won't break it this time! Everyone is looking forward to playing with the bamboo cannons! But, but we don't know who it's from. I don't think we can give it to you. Please, please, please! Hmm... Eh? Why not? <gasps> Akane-san? It's fine. I used it and nothing happened. But one thing, if you shoot at someone, I'm taking it back! Got it, Akamatsu? That's how you got in a fight last time! I wouldn't do that! Then have fun! Yay! I'll teach the others how to use it! W was that really okay? It's fine, it's fine. Plus, I feel like it was a final present to the kids from Old Man Bana. We don't want them to get thrown away. And now Old Man Bonnet can move on. All right, let's get to work. That's what Akane-san said, but weeks later... Karin-chan, did we get something delivered? Um, today is bamboo copters. I see. Last time was bamboo ring toss. Next will be bamboo stilts. Jeez, how can you be so carefree about this? Ever since we got the first box, we've been getting more bamboo toys, even after three weeks. But that wasn't the only strange thing. Whoa! So cool! Hey, listen! Karin-san! Akane-san! Hmm? What's wrong, Akamatsu-kun? Uh, could it be? Yeah! I just saw him! Old man Bana's ghost! He was staring inside of the juvenile center! Hiragi said he saw him the day before yesterday, too! That makes everyone a witness! N no way. Ever since we started getting packages, people have been frequently seeing a ghost around the center. It seems to be a person wearing the same clothes as Tachibana-san. He watches the children play, and then vanishes in the blink of an eye. 
Old Man Vana might have really become protective spirit for the center. By the way, have you talked with him? Uh, I thought I had to tell you guys right away. So I came here without talking to him. Uh, I messed up. Listen up. Even if you see him again, don't talk to him, okay? Huh? But it's probably Old Man Vana. But he could be a suspicious person and not Old Man Vana's ghost. Phew. <sighs> We should get more police on patrol around here. It's dangerous if it is a suspicious person. I you're right. These bamboo copters might not be from Tachibana-san either. The details are a bit dodgy. If an amateur made it, it's pretty good. But if Old Man Bana made it, it doesn't seem like his best work. Yeah, just who in the world is making these? When we had our thoughts about who was making the bamboo toys, we had to think about how to deal with this mysterious ghost too. The answer to both came to us the next day. I got here a bit early. I'll quickly clean the center and take my time with a nice cup of coffee. Hmm? Huh? Is that... Uh, excuse me. Whoa! It isn't Tachibana-san after all. Um, just what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, hey! <laughs> ah! uh, ouch! Ouch! Jeez, watch where you're going. Huh? Wait, Karoki-kun? Huh? Karoki-kun? I told you before, he's old man Bonnet's grandson. Long time no see, how are you? Do you remember me? We played together as kids. Uh, um, well, I can't complain. Oh, I see. Hmm? That package. Karoki-san, it was you, wasn't it? You've been delivering the bamboo packages to us every day. <sighs> Seems like it'll be a long story. Why don't we talk inside? So you're Tachibana-san's grandson. Yes. I've always been my grandpa's child. I would hang out with him basically every day. He taught me bamboo crafts. So I have quite a lot of memories there. Once grandpa passed away, I brought myself to the workshop. Is that when you found the bamboo cannons? Yes. It was his last job. So I delivered it for him. A few days before he died, he smiled at me and said, The bamboo cannons the juvenile center requested are almost finished. The parts were finished so I just put them together. So what about the bamboo copters and the bamboo ring toss? Those weren't done by my grandpa. That was all my work. Not much to be proud of, though. No, no. We thought they were made with care. The kids enjoyed playing with them, too. I wanted to see if the toys I made were well-received. So sometimes, I peeped in through the window. Then the ghost was actually you. Huh? A ghost? Uh, sorry. Just talking to myself. Seeing the children have fun with the toys I made boosted my motivation. That's why you kept sending us stuff every week. But why did you send as an unknown sender? You had us on high alert. Well, that's... I don't have any self-confidence. Self-confidence? I thought if you knew it was me, they'd be thrown away. In my head, I know that's absurd, but I wanted to make things like my grandpa did. So I worked at a company that made machines. You idiot! What the hell is up with this plan? You thought you would get the okay on this? I'm sorry. I got absolutely no approval. I lost all self-confidence. I'm still prone to shut myself in, even after quitting that job. I see. <sighs> Did you bring more toys today? This is what I brought. Hmm? What's this? A mini bamboo car? Um, so if you push this... Wow! Th that's amazing! There's a motor working inside. I like working with electronics. This will probably be a big hit with the boys. Kuroki-san, you're amazing! You haven't lost your confidence at all! Huh? Uh, thank you! You can make the toys, but can you also fix them? Well, as long as the toy isn't too complicated... Have you got another job lined up? No. To be honest, I haven't been able to do any job hunting. Then why don't you work here? What? You'd be like a janitor, cleaning and picking up baggage, stuff like that. For short staff. We don't have a man to help around here, so I was always thinking it'd be nice to have someone like you here. But we have to ask the director. It's fine, it's fine. The one who said we needed a man's help was the head anyway. <laughs> We've been looking to hire, but no one showed up. <sighs> really? I have trust in your character. And the kids in Karin-chan trust in your skills. Thank you. I'll contact the director. Hello? It's Akane. I don't know if things will go as smoothly as Akane-san says, but I think you can demonstrate your skills here. Thank you. Then, if you could get the okay from the director, uh... Could you let me work here? Of course!
The director said okay. So fast? They said you can start tomorrow. So Kuroki-san ended up working with us. And just like Akane-san said, Kuroki-san and his gentle personality was immediately accepted by the kids, and he became a beloved worker. He also inherited Tachibana-san's bamboo workshop. He used the skills he learned from his grandpa and his skills with electronics, and made products that mix tradition and modernity. Now he even has a bamboo workshop that he teaches to the kids. Whoa, whoa! Go, go! Whoa! Mine's faster! Kuroki-san, can I make this any faster? Why don't we make improvements here? A lot has happened, but it feels like everything's settled with the best ending. Yeah, Kuroki-san and the kids look like they're having fun every day. Yep, all right. We have to prep for next week's bamboo workshop. Let's give it our all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at how high it went. Whoa! ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。まあ、普通に考えたら差し出しに不明な荷物に不信感を抱かないわけないですからね。まして、子供が遊ぶおもちゃですし、より警戒心は増しますよ。それにしても完全に失われてしまったと思っ